Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the shadow curve. So here is the command in the ribbon. I have just placed it using the customize. So just right click in the ribbon where there is empty space and then just go to customize and here search for shadow curve. So I'm just going to show you that command in the customize. So here I'm just going to type shadow curve and then just drag and drop so i have already placed there that's why i'm not going to place again now just read the definition for once of shadow curve as per the definition it is going to create silhouette and shadow outlines now let me explain that what is the meaning by that definition suppose we want the outlines of this body on exact plane okay so in this way basically like in this way I need the outline to be get projected over that plane. So for that, we are going to use the shadow curve. Now let's simply click on shadow curve. Then here choose the vector. This is going to be the projection vector. Then here is the body. Then we have the plane. So this is going to be plane. And I'm just going to drag this like this. So this is how it will get up here. Now let's see from this view now you can see we have projected the outline of this body on that particular plane similarly we can use uh, for the different planes as well like uh, a different vector in this direction in the x-axis then this is the body and this is going to be the plane from this toggle you can just adjust the plane location so this is how we use the shadow curve and what could be the reason of using the shadow curve that is all up to you as uh, per the user requirement that what user needs or why user needs that projection on a particular plane. So that is all regarding the shadow curve. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have learned something new from this video, please do hit a like, share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.